and welcome back to Ganesh Institute. In today's topic, we are taking up the diagonalizability of matrices under the similar uh, matrices topic. Okay, this is from linear algebra. So when we say diagonalization of matrix, which we have already covered, it is to check whether the matrix is diagonalizable or not. So for that, you need to consider two conditions. One is whether matrices are similar whether that particular matrix is similar to another and if algebraic multiplicity is equal to geometric multiplicity. For similarity, I have given you seven conditions in our previous video. You can go and check that out. For algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity, let me tell you what does it mean, okay? So let's begin with an example. For instance, let's say if you have a matrix A and the elements are 2, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0 and 1, 0, 1 and you are supposed to check it whether it is diagonalizable or not. So what you have to do? You have to find out the algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity because we cannot um, check the similarity. We don't have another matrix um, right for those seven properties. So let's begin with the characterization uh, characterized polynomial what is it a minus lambda i correct so this is a minus lambda i if you make a matrix out of it that will be characterized polynomial and if you substitute its determinant as zero that will be a characterization equation correct so let's find out a minus lambda i you know that i is what an identity matrix because our main matrix is 3 by 3 order so identity matrix will also be of 3 by 3 order so 2 minus lambda this will also be 2 minus lambda and 1 minus lambda rest all elements will be same because in identity matrix we have rest all elements as 0 so you have to substitute this as 0 not the matrix but the determinant correct so how do we find out determinant this will be 2 minus lambda hide first row and first column so you will get 2 minus lambda into 1 minus lambda so if you put each value as 0 you will get three eigenvalues lambda is 2 lambda is 2 and lambda is 1 so if i ask you what do you mean by algebraic multiplicity? What do you mean by multiplicity? This is L, okay? And what do you mean by geometric multiplicity? So, answer is here. When we say algebraic multiplicity, this is the number of times a particular eigenvalue is repeated. For example, you can see that if I go with the numeric value, we have actually two eigenvalues, right? Lambda is equal to 2 and 1. But how many times this 2 is repeated? Two times, right? So algebraic multiplicity will be 2 here. And for 1, because it is only once, um, it is there only once. So algebraic multiplicity for lambda equals 1 is 1. Now, you have to find out the geometric multiplicity. When we say geometric, so it is to it is to deal with direction. That means vector space, the span. So it is also related with span and the number of eigenvectors. So for that we have to find out n minus rank, order minus rank of a minus lambda i. Okay, let's find out. So for Lambda is equal to 2. What is a minus lambda i? What is a minus lambda i for the matrix for lambda equals 2? Tell me. If you put 2 here, 2 minus 2 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2 minus 2 is again 0, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Okay, tell me. What would be the rank? If you can see that two columns are having all the elements as zero 
only one column is there which is having non zero element so the rank is number of rows or columns having non zero element so rank is one so for lambda equals to geometric multiplicity will be order it is of 3 by 3 order minus rank which is 2 3 minus 2 is 1 correct so um, i'm sorry the rank is 1 only right because one row one column is having non zero element so 3 minus 1 is 2 correct so you can see the geometric multiplicity and algebraic multiplicity for lambda equals 2 is same that means yes the matrix is diagonalizable at lambda equals 2 let's check it for lambda equals 1 as well we have algebraic multiplicity as 1 let's take take out let's talk about geometric multiplicity now what is order order is 3 of course now if i substitute lambda as 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 0 0 0 0 2 minus 1 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 correct yes or no so this is 1 minus 1 is 0 okay you can see that these two elements have non-zero uh, digits elements correct so the rank will be 2 now if i ask you geometric multiplicity it will be order minus rank that is 1 so geometric multiplicity for lambda equals 2 sorry lambda equals 1 is equal to algebraic multiplicity hence the matrix is diagonalizable hope you got this topic and if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel till my next video take yourself take care of yourself